Hi, how are ya? Good and warm, I hope. It's really cold today. Uh, I've got a book here that I think uh, people that's experiencing ETs and sees these UFOs ought to read this. It's called Area 51, An Uncensored History of America's Top Secret Military Base by Annie Jacobson. Oh, she's a very good writer, and it is ch chunk full of details. I've done so much research on them, I'm about done looking at the UFOs and uh, the ET so much as now I want to know about the people that's uh, in cahoots with them. And that would be in our government, as well as other people's governments in other countries, including this one. And if they're lying, they're in cahoots with them. I kind of wonder how, how they got around to having people treat honest people so wickedly and evil things they do to them. So, I'm... I really have come to the conclusion pretty much just need more just a little bit more to prove it to myself but I think these ETs have been here always they are the ones that were labeled demons back in the biblical days and there's also some that are angels that don't reveal themselves so much now these people and governments and things that's really mean, nasty people pretty much working for Satan and want to uh, put bugs on people and implant chips and things like that. Uh, they might make want to make money off of it pretty much, but there's ETs around in people's houses and around watching uh, what they're doing and can even read their minds so uh, if somebody really needs to know something they're gonna run to tell them so I wanted to read you uh, a little bit of the flap so you'd know if you're if you're as intensely curious as I am about it area 51 it is the most famous military installation in the world, and it doesn't exist. Located a mere 75 miles outside Las Vegas in the Nevada desert, the base has never been acknowledged by the U.S. government, but Area 51 has captivated imaginations for decades. Myths and hypotheses about Area 51 have long abounded, thanks to the intense secrecy enveloping it. Some claim it is home to aliens, underground tunnel systems, and nuclear facilities. Others believe that the lunar landing was filmed there. The prevalence of these rumors stems from the fact that no credible insider has ever divulged the truth about his time inside the base until now. Annie Jacobson had exclusive access to 19 men who served on the base proudly and secretly for decades and now are now aged 75 to 92. She also had unprecedented access to 55 additional military and intelligence personnel, scientists, pilots, and engineers linked to the secret base, 32 of whom lived and worked there for extended periods. In Area 51, Jacobson shows us what has really gone on in the Nevada desert. From testing nuclear weapons to building super secret supersonic jets to pursue the war on terror. This is the first book based on interviews with eyewitnesses to Area 51 history which makes it the seminal work on the subject. Filled with formerly classified information that has never been accurately decoded for the public Area 51 weaves the mysterious activities of the top secret base into a gripping narrative showing that fact is often more fa fantastic than fiction, especially when the distinction is almost impossible to make.
And my kudos to Annie. You did a very good job. Very good work. And there's a lot in here that people really need to know. Now, and I'm getting really tired of these wicked ETs that's running around because... And I've also found a way to do a little more research, but it's on the people that's in with them. That uh, they are using each other for these wicked acts they're committing against honest people. That's why they don't like me. Okay, one night, it was about, about the middle of January. It must have been about 3 or 4 in the morning. I was in here sleeping and all of a sudden I snapped awake and I felt something or someone on my back and my first thought was they were going to rip my long handles off of me and rape me but it was a wild violent vibration against my back and then all of a sudden I felt something going patter 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 on my shoulders. And I started to scream, but I couldn't. I was paralyzed. All I could do was think of screaming, and it didn't even come to my throat. And then I was going to lean back and jerk my elbow back to knock him off of me. And I couldn't move then either. And then just a few seconds, and then it felt like this flat type of person or something was just being peeled off my back. And the last part I felt was in the middle of the back of my leg. I felt some kind of foot or something. And then they were gone. I uh, know my heart was pounding pretty fast by then. And I could start moving around and everything. So I went back to sleep. But debating on it, on it for quite some time after that. I decided uh, since they're here every night, on a clear night, you can see them, and there are a bunch of them up there. I've called around to Channel 4, 5, and 9 in Oklahoma City, and nobody wants nothing to do with it. Of course, we never get along that well because they were supporting the illegal Hispanics that's around here. Uh-huh. And I think at least some of these Hispanics are the ETs. Because one day, when I was at the front door, there was a little cat. A little starving cat. More like an alley cat that people fed out there. And it was standing in the door and I gave it some treaties. And one of the old ETs, or Hispanics, was up there and turned the music up really, really loud. And boy, I felt like screaming at him to turn that stuff off. But I didn't say anything because I didn't want to scare the cat. It was right down here by my feet, eating. And I was looking at him and he started walking past like he'd never even seen me. And then all of a sudden he looked up and he goes, uh, 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 uh. And he went over there and turned the music off. Now tell me he couldn't read my mind. Absolutely. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure now after, uh, fitting all these pieces of puzzles together that uh, also the Catholic Church supports the illegals very highly here. Are they ETs too? Or are they just supporting them to get something in return? And like I always said, follow the money. So now I do a little more study on it on the people that's supporting them and then we'll see because uh, I'm sure they if they are a people from another planet that have immigrated here they're probably pretty scared of us when they see that uh, we can get violent when people are treating us pretty bad but then they went and pushed it off into wars with other places didn't they and uh, if they're going to take over this place, then yeah, I can see them using people like they have against the rest of us and trying to get us into a battle with each other and keep us disunited makes us vulnerable and weak. So yeah, I'm still studying. <laughs> and 
I'll come back and have a little bit more later on another issue connected with this too. Well, y'all have a warm night or day wherever you are. Later.